we're in a we're in a home right now that has a sprinkler system in it and just want to point out some of those components one of the things we've noticed is uh, on the ceilings we've got these little caps those are basically the covers for the sprinkler heads so if, if the sprinkler system if the fire suppression system ever was engaged the water pressure would just shoot those little plastic caps off those are just basically aesthetic covers so you don't have to stare at the sprinkler heads all the time and then in here in the in the closet we've got this big cistern this is a 300 gallon water cistern that would store the water um, so that so that there would always be excess water if the sprinkler system ever had to go off another indication to me that this was a sprinkler system is the orange piping here sprinkler or fire suppression systems will use this orange piping now something I want to be sure to look for is when I get in the attic space I want to be making sure that this is all insulated um, when plumbing pipes are in the attic and they're uninsulated they're obviously more likely to flee, freeze and crack and then down at the bottom here that's just an area where we can drain out the cistern if needed and then if the fire suppression system ever got turned on in an emergency this pump would turn on and that pump is what would pull the water out of the cistern here and force it up into the sprinkler lines we've also just got your gauges here showing that the system is pressurized and in this case we had a handy little box with some extra sprinkler heads and some spare parts now these are specialty systems. These are systems that, uh, that most plumbers would be able to go into and there's actually specialist companies um, that specialize in sprinklers and fire suppression safety systems. But for what we need to know on home inspection is just you know, what this is and we're just looking for any construction defects, crack, crack pipes, broken gauges, um, any lines where there's maybe galvanized going into copper and then making sure the pipes are insulated in the areas and this is a backflow preventer and this is where the water comes in to the cistern to fill it up so those are some of the main features with this